Hey guys, welcome to part two of my How to Record a Drum Cover series. Today we're gonna dive into my microphone setup and how I record all of my drums onto my Mac, what program I use, and how to get all these drums on separate channels. I wanna say that I haven't always had all of these microphones. When I first started, I literally had a Shure microphone on a stand recording whatever I was playing. And you know what? That's totally fine. You don't need 20 microphones and a really expensive interface to make things sound really good. If you want a quick overview video on how to do something like that, definitely check out Mike Johnston's video because he records a lot of his videos with just two microphones, I believe. Maybe it might only be one overhead, but even if it's only two, it's still really impressive and his drums sound incredible. So I just wanna go into this video by saying, don't watch this and get overwhelmed and feel like you have to go out and buy all these microphones and all these interfaces and MacBooks and all this crazy stuff. So to start off, let's talk about my microphone setup. On all three of my toms, I have Shure 98DS mics. I love these mics because they're super small and my chances of hitting them with my drumstick are pretty slim. They're also super crisp and clear when it comes to getting a really good tone from my toms. On my kick, I have the kick drum mic that I've been using since day one. I bought this in a Shure beginner mic kit. It's a Shure Beta 52A. I love it, it does the job, haven't had to change it. For my overheads, I've actually changed these a lot from time to time. I used to just have uh, Shure SM57s up on some overhead mic stands and they worked just fine. Now I have some Samson overheads, the C02 series, and I usually have two of them overhead my drum kit. Right now I only have one, but if you wanna get technical and really have a balanced overhead mix, definitely do two. On my hi-hat and snare drums, both side snare and main snare, I have pile mics, P-Y-L-E. Pile mics are super cheap. I think they're only like 20 bucks on Amazon. Again, they do the job. I don't need anything fancy for that. And my kit sounds great. I have a lot of people ask me why I have so many microphones and why I don't just use two overhead mics. Well, for me, I love recording and putting all of these drums on their own separate tracks so I can individually EQ and mix them in post-production. Now, if you were to have two overheads, you could mix those in post-production as well and have it sound great. For me, I'm kind of OCD when it comes to that stuff and I kind of nerd out when I go to edit. And so I actually really do enjoy editing each individual drum. Plus it's kind of how I learned when I started. And so I kind of just stick to my ways. All right, so now that I've talked about my mic setup, you're probably wondering, where are all of these mics going? Well, it's a really good question. All of these mics are leading to my Tascam interface, which is sitting over here to my right. All of the information that is going into the mics, AKA my drum sounds, are then going to the interface, which is plugged into my MacBook Pro. So what it's doing is taking all of that information, putting it through a system and outputting it into my computer. That way I can then put these individual drums on their own individual tracks within the editing software. The advantage to this is you're able to go in and edit each drum separately to fine tune and make sure it sounds like really what you want it to sound like. So as you can see here over at the Tascam interface, it's a US 16 by eight. And I used to have an older version of this exact interface and it died and so I loved it so much that I bought the newer version. All right, so there you have it. That's my microphone setup, and that's how I get all of these mics into the interface, into my computer. If you haven't seen the first episode of this series, check it out. I show you my full kit setup and all the details on everything that I play on this kit right here behind me. In the next video, you're gonna really wanna pay attention because that's when we're gonna dive into how to record. And then lastly, we're gonna review how to film everything and how to edit it all together. So grab all your gear, stay tuned for the next episode, and I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.